Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Back again for another special video. Welcome in, welcome back. Appreciate you guys. Um, today we're going to be doing a, another fun scent from PAA. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And as you can see, this is going to be something that most people... <laughs> Oh, maybe not more. I don't know. I don't know what the percentage of the population. Uh, one, if they had the money, would they buy it? Two, um, do they even want to smell like this? Even if it's just at home. So, I don't know. I'm a fan of PAA and I'm a fan of fireworks. And so, anyway, um, this is a review of fireworks, which is the name of the scent from PAA. Obviously, this is a seasonal. Um, in fact, uh, you know, during one of Douglas's Instagram live videos, um, I think it was like last week, or the week before 4th of July, or, or maybe it was the week of 4th, um, he was mentioning, uh, you know, because Fresco had just launched, and obviously that's going to have all the the uh, attention and the energy from the company. It's a big launch. It's an important launch. They want everything to go well. Um, so, you know, do we launch something like this and um he was like i don't know maybe i will do it and he did it so kudos to douglas kudos to fran kudos to the paa team for making it happen and um, i'm happy that they did because i love fireworks so i'm interested to see how close this is or how strong this scent is so let's get um cracking just like a firework i guess fire cracking um so i picked up the uh star jelly and then the CK6 bundle, um, as for the most part this year, I was able to get in on the first 50 and get the hollow label. Um, so far, the only one I wasn't able to get this year was Fresco. Obviously, that's a big launch, and um, a lot of people were looking forward to that. So, um, so yeah, this is the cover. Um, so again, I don't know if the hollow label you know the holographic label is still available but if not it would be uh you wouldn't have that holographic uh appearance um so fireworks says made with real sulfur wow a blast of nostalgia and of course the cube which makes it to every single label somehow it gets incorporated uh pretty cool love the cube what does it say on the bottom here? Limit edition label. Okay, cool. So very straightforward. Um, just black and red. Interesting, I thought they would incorporate blue in here um, for fourth, but they didn't, which is fine. Um, no complaints there. So this is your uh, CK6. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. Okay, so it's um, interesting. There's some multi-cut, what is this? Um, interesting, is that pieces of sulfur? Look at that discoloration. It's like, uh, not discoloration, but look at the different colors. Or is that just the butters? Hmm. Or is that pieces of sulfur? Oh man, I can smell the sulfur from here. It's not strong, but I mean, I can pick it, faintly pick it up. I wonder if that's like pieces of sulfur. Anyway, your standard um, pour from CK6, just, you know, really, really uh, luscious vegan soap with a bunch of different butters that make this lather just an unbelievable um, experience. So yeah, there's some like this, there's pieces of yellow. I wonder if that's, yeah, I'm not sure. It's gotta be part of the sulfur, right? Or is that like normal butters that are usually um, colored by different scents, but because this is not, it's, it's visible now. I don't know. All right, let's do our first smell. Hmm. <laughs> 
So it does have a um, spent firework smell, but the sulfur is not like super, super powerful. I would say this overall scent is about a seven, six and a half, seven, which is, I would think just straight um, a normal PAA scent. Um, but I'm picking up some other, um, almost like that, I don't know if there's sandalwood in here. There's something in here um, that's giving it some um, um, pleasant smell, different from the sulfur. Anyway, let me go ahead and read. So it says, um, boom, never has that felt so fitting to say. <laughs> Uh, scent profile, spent fireworks, not overkill, subtle and memorable. He writes, for me, fireworks are one of my strongest scent memories. As for most, I especially remember this patriotic aroma from 4th of July family gatherings. After stuffing myself with hot dogs and hamburgers all day and many a game of egg toss or some time in a pool with my cousins, it was time. All the older fellas in the fam would put their beers down and start speaking in hushed tones, shooing us curious kids away as they started setting up their fireworks. Bottle rockets, sky rockets, whistlers, genies, lady fingers, black cats, snakes, tic tacs, sparklers, etc. Then it was time and one after another these colorful mysteries would come to life. You know the rest, but more importantly, you know the smell. Brimstone or sulfur with a pinch of black powder, in short, a spent firecracker. Simple enough, yet there was, is so much attached to this classic scent. For one, where I grew up, it was illegal to sell, buy, or set off fireworks. Knowing this as a kid, I could never really wrap my head around it. I mean, my family were church going folk, but come 4th of July, they were devil. <laughs> Sorry. They are devil may care pyro pyromaniacs. So this element of danger and rebelliousness burned itself in, in my brain, but more than that, seared it on my nose. I also remember waking up early, really, really early on July 5th and taking my dog for a walk through the park where folks would go on the 4th to watch the town fireworks and light off their own. This is where I would find dud firecrackers, M80s or stuff that was dropped in the flashing dark of the previous evening. I would come home with pockets full of bone. For weeks, I was experimenting with my finds. Mostly, I would just break open the duds and make a pile of gunpowder and then light it. A genie. Other times, I would just turn over this highly decorated tubes in my hand and read them. Bottle rocket labels were especially an enigma. With report, always confused the heck out of me. Sounded way cooler than it actually meant. Which was, it exploded. Here, I was expecting a note to fall from the sky with some info on the launch. Fact is, I, like most, have many a fond memory wrapped in this epic, potent, whimsical scent. So I am super excited to release fireworks. Note, you will not need any form of adult supervision for this, and it's legal in all 50 states. Shave on and stay groovy. All right. So that is the soap. Yeah, I, I have great memories of the 4th and especially New Year's. Um, I remember as a kid growing up, there was Roman candles and real firecrackers legal in Hawaii. They're no longer legal here. Um, and you didn't really see any aerials. It's so funny. So like the stuff that would really like um, you would normally pop every individual, every family, every neighborhood would have, you know, red firecrackers and you know, your different uh, sparklers and fountains that you would have. Those were banned um, and you can't get them anywhere. And you would never see like these large aerials. Um, but now those firecrackers or fireworks that, you know, people, normal people would use, no one uses them anymore because they're not available. But you had the huge rockets and huge aerials that you never saw in the past are just widespread here. Um, and those are way more dangerous than the regular firecrackers. Um, I mean, those are professional fireworks that professional shows would put on. Um, and yet you see that all across over here on, in, in the islands and I'm sure everywhere across the nation, huge aerials. Um, but yet 
the father and son or the father and daughter and the kids in the neighborhood are not allowed to, to pop anything. So very interesting times. Anyway, just reminiscing. Um, so yeah, this is the um, splash. I'm gonna start opening splashes now in my review. I, I you know, I open this up. Why not just open the splash? Mm. Has a very very nice sulfur smell, <laughs> and obviously the jelly, which I won't open up. Um, not maybe I will. Hmm. This one doesn't have much of a sulfur smell. Um, I love star jelly. Look at that. You have the elements of a bomb and elements of the aftershave. Anyway, um, glad you folks are here. This is a pretty cool seasonal from PAA and uh, not for everyone, but I think a lot of guys here would enjoy this. Um, so yeah, it is currently still available on PAA, PAA's website, standard CK6 uh, prices. I don't think there's any um, CK1. Let me double check on this. Yeah, it's only in CK6. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as always, take care of one another. Uh, let's lift people up. Let's really, really help each other here, guys. Um, life is too short. Yeah, life is too short. Um, let's not uh, make things more painful than they need to be. So, as always, take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.